This is the Avtomat Kalashnikova, Kalashnikov's automatic. It is likely the most common auto-loading rifle in the world. Introduced in the Soviet Union in 1947, it has been widely copied, exported, and derived from. I use the word Kalashnikov as a generic term for the entire family of related designs. The word ubiquitous is appropriate to describe the Kalashnikov family. However, the term AK-47 is one of the most misused phrases in the English language. Under most circumstances, in my opinion, anyone using the term AK-47 can be presumed ignorant regarding firearms. A genuine original AK-47 would be a valuable museum piece and would also be restricted under the National Firearms Act of 1934 in the United States. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of variations on the Kalashnikov theme. Original models, like this one, use the 7.62 by 39 millimeter Soviet cartridge. Later models use the 5.45 by 39 or 40 millimeter Soviet cartridge. Despite persistent myth, neither of those is safely interchangeable with any Western equivalent. This video will demonstrate the basic operation of the Kalashnikov. These instructions should apply to many of the Kalashnikov rifle variations, including the SVD or Dragunov and its several copies. Let's begin as usual by identifying the major features and controls. The original 1947 model used a conventional milled receiver, while the AKM and most copies use a receiver stamped from sheet metal for reduced cost and ease of production. On the original milled steel models, you can see lightning cuts milled into the sides. However, on this one, you can see it's a stamped sheet metal receiver, thin sheet metal here, stampings here. This example is a Romanian copy of the AKM, the modernized version with a sheet metal receiver, and this is semi-automatic only. Bear in mind that, like the AR-15 series, particular examples of the Kalashnikov may differ considerably in appearance, but these controls and their functions should be common across most examples. The receiver, which holds everything together. Hobbyists can purchase flat, blank receivers and complete them on their own, drilling the necessary holes and folding them in the correct way. Parts kits may be difficult to find due to recent import restrictions, though several American suppliers are attempting to meet this demand. The dust cover, usually thin stamped sheet metal. The takedown latch, disassembly will be shown in a separate video. The trigger. The magazine. The magazine catch. The magazine well. The safety and selector lever. This model is semi-automatic only and has only two positions. Up is safe and down is fire. Full automatic versions have a third position in between. The operating handle and bolt carrier the ejection port, the pistol grip, the buttstock, the forend and handguard, the gas tube, the rear sight, the front sight, the barrel. Some examples will have muzzle brakes, flash hiders, or other devices. Some will be equipped with a bayonet lug beneath the gas block, though this one is not. Others will have folding bayonets. This example includes the Soviet standard rail for mounting optical or electronic sights. Adapters are available to convert this to reach over the top of the dust cover and use western Picatinny or Weaver style mounts. Now let's see how to unload and make safe a weapon of this type. These are dummy rounds made by a friend. There is no powder and the primers have been fired. First, always keeping the weapon pointed in a safe direction and your fingers away from the trigger, remove the magazine. The standard method is to grasp the magazine and operate the paddle magazine catch with your thumb the magazine then rocks down and forward, pivoting at the front, and is removed. 
Next, pull the operating handle back to extract and eject any round which may be in the chamber. Most models require the safety to be disengaged before doing this. Most models do not have a bolt hold open device. Most models will not lock open on an empty magazine. Some models have been modified with a notch cut in the safety lever to capture the bolt handle when it is retracted. Some Warsaw Pack nations modified the follower in the magazine to hold the bolt open when it's empty, although the bolt will then slam closed when the magazine is removed. Aftermarket followers for standard magazines are available to duplicate this effect. For range safety, insert an open bolt indicator. Since the bolt usually cannot be held open by itself, some gymnastics are often required. For storage, after ensuring all ammunition has been removed, the bolt is simply closed. Now let's see how to load and fire a weapon of this type. Again, these are dummy cartridges made by a friend, containing no powder, and the primers have been fired. The standard models load from a double column, detachable box magazine holding 30 rounds. Smaller and larger capacities of this type are available, as are 75 and 100 round drums. Like the AR-15 family, cartridges are rolled in from the top and do not need to be slid under the feed lips. Like the AR-15, aftermarket loading tools are available. Ammunition can sometimes be found, or is sometimes issued, on stripper clips or chargers. This is the standard charger for the SKS carbine, the predecessor of the Kalashnikov in service, though the designs are not directly related. Like the AR-15, adapters are available to mount the charger on top of the magazine for fast loading. When loaded, the magazine is inserted into the well, front first, where it pivots and rocks up to lock in place. On most models, the safety must be released to fully retract the bolt. To chamber the first cartridge, pull the operating handle all the way to the rear and let it fly forward under spring pressure. The weapon is now ready to fire. To fire, aim, ensure the manual safety has been released, and press the trigger in the usual way. This example uses standard semi-automatic operation, meaning it fires once each time the trigger is operated, automatically extracting and ejecting the spent case, and loading the next from the magazine. This continues until all ammunition is spent, as stated, there is no bolt hold open device on most models, and most models will not lock open on an empty magazine. On most models, the only indicator that the weapon is empty is when it stops firing. To reload, remove the empty magazine, as previously described. Insert a loaded magazine, as previously described. Pull and release the operating handle, and resume firing. This should conclude the basic operation of the Kalashnikov series of automatic rifles. The Kalashnikov is an extremely common and influential design which may plausibly be encountered anywhere in the world. Everyone should know how to use one in case of emergency. That is the purpose of this video and this series of basic firearms tutorial videos. If you have any questions, please leave them in comments, and if you found this video useful, please consider a charitable donation through my website's PayPal button. Thank you.